Hello boys and girls. Today I'm going to be changing the original keyboard that's in this laptop for this brand new one. And that's because a couple of these keys weren't working anymore. And um, I already checked before I took out the keyboard, made sure that it was plugged in properly and it was. And I checked underneath the in individual keys to make sure there was nothing under there and there wasn't. So I had to get a new keyboard. So if you're doing this along with me, don't worry, it's going to be super straightforward. We'll be done really quick. Alright, so here's the bottom of the computer. As you can see, it's a Toshiba, it's a satellite C50A02V. And you want to make sure that your keyboard matches that, and this one does. And then, let's begin. So safety first, let's take out the battery. Pops out like this. And then there's one screw in the bottom. Um, mine is right here. It's basically whatever screw is closer to the middle, I think. And this screw holds the keyboard in place. Not all computers have this, but this one does. So let's take it out. Put that to the side so we don't lose it. And then we can just flip this over. So most of the keyboards that I've seen so far, they just click into place. So if you see right here, you have these little tabs on the side, these little raised edges, and those click into place in the computer. And this one's in here now, so what I have to do is push away all the little pieces that hold those tabs into place so that I can take it out. So I'm just going to use my screwdriver for this. I have this one with a straight edge so I can push those little parts away, down and away. So I got one part out, I'm just going to use that to pull the other parts out. I wasn't letting go before because I wasn't pulling it up. Now that I'm pulling it up, it's going a lot easier. Oops. And then there's some on the side. It's going a lot easier because I already did it before, I think. But there are two on the side here as well. But I found that if you just take the bottom, just slide it away from underneath there should be working there we go and then it comes out and then here we go flip it over you can see inside of the computer through this plastic here and this is where it's attached so this ribbon is attached here so here's the attachment it's being held in place by this right here so some computers are different um, a lot of them you have to like go underneath here and flip this up and then it slides right out some computers you can take it right out but mine as you can see has these little black plastic things here and here and I just want to like pull those out like that and like that you just want to be careful not to touch that part underneath the green part obviously don't touch that um and then i got these little black things out and then i can slide that right out like that so then this is removed all right so here we have the new keyboard you want to put it on Make sure that's right side up because I just did this and put it in upside down. So this is the second go. Just flip it over. Here we go. And then we just want to slide this in. in there. It's a bit difficult while holding the camera. And then press those black parts down to lock it into place. I'm not using my screwdriver for this so I got I don't damage anything and there we go and then 
I'm gonna flip this over like this. All right, and now all we have to do is click it into place. Um, it should be relatively straightforward. For whatever reason, this keyboard is giving me a bit of grief. I won't click into the side. I don't know why. All right, I decided to show you guys how easy it is with the old one so you guys don't get discouraged about whatever just happened. Um, but basically, you just do the opposite of what you did before. Slide it in. At the top, make sure you get the side ones into. And then it just clicks like this. And then you're done. <laughs> so technically, it should only take a, like one second. But for whatever reason, this the fit of this keyboard is slightly off, but I can get it in, it just takes a little bit more work. Okay, that's in, I think. All the places look sealed. Okay, close it up, turn it over. Don't forget the screw that was in there. Put the screw back in. Put this back in, battery, and voila, done. All right, here we have the ultimate test. Okay, it looks like all the keys are working, so success. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.